In this future tour, I'm going to show you HTML Editor 3. HTML Editor 3 has been updated to include the newest version of CK Editor, which allows to provide a number of great new features, which has made HTML Editor an even greater addition to your website. Some of the new features you'll find in this new editor include the ability to check spelling as you type, as well as the ability to completely customize how the content looks in your page so that you can provide your users with an accurate representation of how the content will appear when it's inserted onto their website. We've now provided you with a facility for completely populating the styles menu so that your users can choose from all the styles that you'd like so that they can completely customize the content they insert to their page. Additionally, this new text editor includes some useful features such as the ability to resize the text editor to fit the content that you're working on to make it easier to edit. You also have the ability to select tag to make it easier to select different sections of your page. HTML Editor 3 also includes a new standalone file manager. This allows you to enhance your file upload fields, which gives your users the ability to upload and modify images that they are submitting using your form. Simply click Browse on the File Manager field, and the File Manager will appear where you can choose the image you wish to use, and crop, resize, or rotate the image, as well as upload a new image. And this feature really allows you to enhance the upload process for your users and gives your users the ability to customize the image before they submit it to your site. So now let me show you how easy it is to add HTML editor to your site. Here you can see a page that I've added to my travel blog where I can submit a new post. This is just a simple form of the text area and a submit button so that I can type my new message and click submit. The functionality that inserts the content to my database has already been added, so now what I'm going to do is simply switch out the text area with an HTML editor instance so that I have some more features for inserting and managing my content. First, I select the text area that I'm going to replace, and from the Web Assist menu, choose Forms, HTML Editor, Insert Editor. This displays the main HTML editor interface, and if you're familiar with HTML Editor 2, you'll see that this interface has changed quite a bit. The most noticeable difference is a live preview that shows you exactly what your HTML editor is going to look like before you insert it to your page. This is very useful in case you're wondering how many tool, how many rows is go this is going to display and also highlights a new feature that we've added which is the ability to choose an interface color. You can change the background color of the HTML editor instance so that you can match the text editor to your site. You're also provided with two different presets to choose from one that includes file management and one where file management is turned off. If you're not expecting your users to, in, to upload files or images to their site, you can simply choose the no file management option and that will disable that feature and not require you to complete any additional settings for that. If you were to choose the preset that enabled file management, you'd be required to configure your database settings so that, that your database could be updated accordingly. You can also edit all the features of your toolbar by modifying that preset. If you click Edit here, the Editor Settings interface loads and you have four tabs for managing how your toolbar looks and functions. The General tab provides basic settings for the doc type that's used and the language that you use on your site. And then you can configure some file upload settings and how the file manager appears. The Toolbar tab allows you to choose all the toolbar buttons that will appear on your text editor. You're provided with a default and a basic option to start with, and you can always add more buttons by simply clicking the Add and choosing something else that you would like to include. You can also click Delete to remove anything that you don't want to include. So you have complete control over what buttons are available in the toolbar. Under Formatting, you have some basic settings for how the text is formatted, as well as a new settings to include the Check Spelling As You Type feature, which will underline words that are misspelled as your user enters them. And the Styling tab has been improved to allow you a great deal more flexibility when adding styles to your text editor. You can now add as many CSS styles as you like so that the content that is being edited in the text editor appears exactly as it would on the page of your site. To provide our users with even more control, you can now completely customize the styles drop-down list that appears on the HTML editor toolbar. Here you can add as many styles or attributes as you would like to give your user the option to apply different CSS styles to the text or content that they've entered into the text editor. 
You can even save these styles lists so that you can use them again when creating other HTML editor instances, or have the same one styles list shared with all HTML editor instances that have been added to the same one site. To return to the HTML editor quick insert interface, where well you can now see a live preview of the editor and how it has changed now that I've removed many of the toolbar options. So now that I've configured these settings, I'm going to click OK, and my editor will be inserted to my page. Simply save this page and preview my browser, and you can see the HTML editor instance that I just inserted. So that's how easy it is to insert an HTML editor instance to your form. Now let me show you how to insert the standalone file manager, which is a new feature in HTML editor 3. Here I have a form on my website for, use, for photographers to upload photos. They have the ability to enter a name, description, and the photographer's name, and then I have a, a file field for them to upload a photo. Again, I've already added the functionality that inserts this to my database, so what I want to do now is simply replace the file field with my standalone HTML editor file manager so that I could provide my visitors with a more enhanced experience where they can edit their image and crop it and perhaps resize it if necessary. So the first thing to do is select the file, the, the form element that I'm replacing. And from the WebAssist menu choose Forms, Insert File Manager. And the simple interface for configuring your file manager will appear. First you are asked if you want to show the directories in the file manager. The directories panel is provided to allow your users to navigate to different folders. For this example, I don't, actually, I don't want my users to be able to navigate to different folders, so I'm going to turn this off. Now the subdirectory allows you to specify the folder that the user is able to upload images to and the, the folder that the users are able to see. So for this example, I'm entering photos. And if I needed to, I could configure an initial value here. So now because this uses the advanced file manager, there are some additional settings to configure. So you'll need to configure your database and your security settings. Now when you open the site settings interface, the file manager tab allows you to, con to specify two important settings. The first is the upload directory that these images will be uploaded to. In the previous interface, I configured a subdirectory called photos, and that is the that subdirectory resides within the images directory that I'm going to use as my upload directory. So if you had multiple file manager instances, you may want multiple subdirectories depending on what you're using that instance for, and everything would be stored within the images folder in the subdirectory that you specify. Because the file manager stores information in my database, I need to choose my database connection here. I only have one database connection, so that's chosen by default. And now I need to add security. HTML Editor, the file manager of HTML Editor is integrated with Security Assist so that you can restrict access to the file manager only to those who you want to be able to upload and edit images. Because I've already applied Security Assist to my website, I already have an access rule created. If you haven't yet applied Security Assist to your website or you don't have Security Assist installed, you should install Security Assist and run the Security Assist wizard so that you can add the security to your file manager. Since I only have one access rule, I'll choose that here, but you could have multiple and you could have multiple rules and only provide access to certain users. And in the failed redirect field, I've entered the login page so that if they don't so that if the user doesn't have permission to access this, they'll be taken to the login page where they can enter the username and password. So now that I've done that, I'm going to click OK. And on the main interface, I'm going to click OK again. So as you can see, the file manager has been inserted in place of my file upload field. And if I save this page and preview it in my browser, my user will be able to click the browse icon here, enter their username and password, and here's the file manager where I can choose the image I want to use, and if necessary, I can crop that image, I could resize that image or rotate, as well as some other options. So it's that easy to add a file manager to your form. This is a great way to enhance the file upload process for your users so that they have a more feature-rich experience on your website.